Hey guys, it's Vance again. Um, still working on these videos, enjoying this. Uh, one more here to get into the more detail of uh, how you can use Brevi with the Alice EMR uh, macros to really get a powerful uh, form filling out tool and save everybody a bunch of time. Uh, so let me uh, get right to it. Uh, if you haven't seen the first video, find it. I'll try to link to it if I can figure out how to do that on YouTube. Shouldn't be too hard. This is all kind of new to me, but um, <coughs> pardon me. All right, so here we go. I'm um, going to get into a uh, notepad here, and I'm just going to show you something basic here. So whenever I have a new patient, you might um, say uh, something along the lines of this. So N-E-W-M is uh, my new male. If I hit a space bar here, it starts my macro, but then it just stops all of a sudden, and it prompts me for age. So I put in their age, and then hit tab, and it finishes it out. Now if I do the same thing, I can do new N-E-W-F, same thing, except for this time it's for female and it has the uh, appropriate uh, uh, pronoun here. So what I originally had was um, uh, I had a single uh, a macro that was new and it prompted me for their age, their uh, race, their sex, and also this pronoun and I realized I was it was pr stopping and prompting me four times to change to enter something the amount of time I was filling out those four prompts, I probably could have just typed a sentence. Well, that's the beauty of macros. You can make two of them. And so I made two of them, and one's for men, one's men, one's women. And then most of my patients are white, so I just defaulted to white, and I can always change that real quick. And so now I can do these really, really fast. Uh, so first I'm going to show you how, how to make a, a macro that has an input where it, it changes it for everybody. You, it prompts you to change something. And, uh, and then we'll see how that's really powerful, like with the fax forms here in a little bit. So to start, we're just going to go in here, and we're going to look for this new, f or this new is right here. So the magic in this is you do this percent symbol, and then a parenthesis, and then the word input. And then you type whatever you want it to say that's going to be replaced by your input, and then close parentheses. So right here, parentheses, input, or per uh, percent, parentheses, input. Then I, just, I always just say type, and then what it is I want to know, and press tab. So it always reminds me what to do and then you're done. That's all there is to it. Um, by the way, all this kind of, these extra things it can do, like input, and it can input the date and minute and time and hour and a million other things and all kinds of cool stuff. It's all really well documented. You just go to help and this F1 help documentation and it takes you to this website where it's got everything. It's really good. So uh, I'm just trying to save you some time and preventing you from having to do that. Um, Alright, so now the next thing I need to show you before we get to the facts thing is uh, this. You may have noticed at times whenever you do a ma invoke a macro inside the Atlas EMR, uh, we're going to do the demo demographic one. So we hit it, this and then demo. Dang it. There. Now you notice there's a split second. It takes about a second or maybe half a second uh, before this pops up. And uh, now when you hit enter, it'll, it'll populate the demographics of your patient. Same thing for, you know, vitals. And you'll notice, like, at first, it, like, it's got vitamin D or whatever. And then when you put the ALS, then eventually it, it pops up vitals. Okay, so, um, and my guy has 105 BMI, which is spectacular. Um, anyway, the issue I have with it, the, the issue here is that there is just a brief uh, delay before these macros can come up. And the reason is, this isn't on your computer. This is on a server somewhere. It's communicating over the internet, and you know you're at the mercy of internet speed. But Brevi, the ma the Brevi program is on your computer, and what it's basically doing is taking over your laptop. And as soon as you invoke the macro, I mean it's it's basic. I mean it's taking over your your keyboard. I mean, and it's basically just tearing through the instructions like you're typing at light speed. Well, the problem with that is if you type hashtag demo and then immediately hit enter and go on to typing, then it, it screws it up because it it starts typing before that macro comes in and if it does come in then it's in the middle of something you already started typing or whatever or that the macro typed so you have to be able to put a delay in and that's really important and, and it can do that and with it you can do so much cool stuff with Brevi so um, I'll, I'll show you how, how that works um, um, I think we'll just use uh, my normal basic exam for this so um, We'll do it here. Um, so my normal basic exam, I hit space, 
and um, see how it takes a minute it waits just a little bit after it says vitals uh, and that's that hashtag vitals there would would input the vital uh, macro out of atlas but if you don't put that delay after it it screws everything up so you go over here and inside that one here normal basic exam you'll see right here that after vitals I have percent sign parentheses and then delay 1500 milliseconds and then after it waits a second and a half then it hits enter a couple times and that puts in the, the vitals real nice um, and see how it says, then it says key and then enter that's telling it to hit a key you could do up arrow down arrow control shift whatever you want but um, I have it hitting enter twice and then the space two tells it to hit that twice um, and then the rest of this is just that this physical exam stuff you see right here notice that where all the enters are I do percent key enter uh, or percent parentheses key enter close parentheses I found out you don't have to do that the one place you don't have to put key and then the thing is with the enter key so I made in uh, normal basic exam two here see how much easier this is to read what I did was I took out all these uh, percent key enters and replaced them with an actual enter and now it's easy to easier to read still have to do key enter twice up here to fix it after the vitals but hey the rest of it's easier to read so if I come over here and I do um, MBE2 oops I'll do MBE first and then at the end of it I'll do MBE2 and you'll see how they're exactly the same even though they look so much different inside um, the replacement text here this is a lot harder to read so to make to keep them clean and make them easier to read you can actually type enter in here you don't have to do the and, and enter th or the percent key entered thing which is good because it actually actually saves you time here's one I missed so I'm gonna take out that key enter put an actual enter and there we go I'll apply that okay so the delay here you see how I did that you just put parentheses or percent parentheses delay and then however much time you can do it in in milliseconds or in seconds um, and it just follows that just fine now let's get into the nitty-gritty I'll show you how we do these faxes which is what's really awesome um, the fax abbreviations are here we'll look at one here I'll just do fax HCH we'll just do lab I guess and you'll see what it's doing um, it's going to a little delay there and it's hitting tab a couple times putting a phone number in now it stops ask me for some input what lab do I want okay CDC or whatever and then diagnosis in case you know this is a Medicare patient they want to do it there because Medicare is covering it or something and then it finishes it out so this is all the stuff it's going to put in that fax form so let's look at it in real life it looks like this so we'll do new fax on our fake patient here and it's filling everything out real nice and neat for us see how it filled in demo right there you may have noticed when it did hashtag demo it waited a half a second which gave Atlas time to catch up then it hit enter a couple times which then put in the fake patients demographic information and then it went on through the macro and it got to type desired lab test that's where we hit CDC wherever we want and then we hit tab again now it wants a diagnosis um, and then we're gonna hit uh, tab again and it'll finish it finishes it out by the way extra credit to anybody who um, replies on this video with where PS have a nice day comes from no googling it that is totally cheating okay so how do we make it do this all of this stuff you have to understand what it's basically doing is it's just doing keystrokes so whenever you start here and you type in um, let's go ahead and cancel this and start with a fresh one so you can see it so when you type in your um, fax HCH lab or whatever this is my shortcut whenever I hit spacebar it, inv it invokes that and starts following instructions so the first thing it's going to do is it's going to clear this out and it's going to type something here then it's going to hit tab which as you can see moves it down one it's going to fill that out and so on all right so um, let's look at it and see what it's doing the lab is this one. okay so what it does is it types this first then it hits tab so percent parentheses key tab close parentheses then a delay I don't think this delay is necessary actually I'm gonna get rid of that 
and then um, tabs down puts the phone number tabs twice uh, because it has that are you doing this for me or somebody else and it's always for you so tab twice uh, unless that for you it maybe it doesn't need maybe you need to tab one and make it in or something you can uh, hold and direct here enter again then it fills out that big box and you'll notice that again all of a sudden it does hashtag demo and there's that nice one and a half second delay then it hits enter delays another second then it hits enter twice it works perfect and um, enters all their, their demographic information so now the people there know who to call to set it up and you don't have to type any of this in it comes right out of your EMR puts in their email puts in their phone number everything um, and then you have to put an input so then you put parentheses input like I showed you earlier and I've, I have to say type desired lab test and press tab you do that that picks it up again hits enter a couple times does diagnosis stops again asks for input this time it wants diagnosis put that in hit tab it takes right off again finishes out the script and there you go that is how you make it fill out a complete fax form in literally like a couple seconds depending on how long it takes you to type out what the order is they need uh, you might notice like look at my physical therapy one on that one I don't have it stop me for an order because nine out of ten times the order right here is physical therapy the balance read is indicated so it just puts that in there now I, when I get done with the macro if I want to give specific physical therapy instructions other than a valid tree, let's go up there and change it. No problem. Quick solution. Um, notice right here where it says percent parentheses abbrev s. What I'm doing here is I'm putting a macro within a macro, or in this case, uh, I guess an abbreviation in an abbreviation. I have a signature abbreviation where it says electronically signed by me and puts the date and time. That's right here. If I go to my abbreviations and I go s, you'll see it. So what it's doing is it's doing electronically signed, it has my name, and it puts month, day, and year. And how do and how do you do all these year, day, month stuff? It's pretty straightforward, but if you have any you can always look for help. It's all in the help. Right up here is it help and help documentation. It tells you how to do all these. My point though here is that I already have a I already have an abbreviation for my electronic signature, right? So inside this fax one, I think I was looking at the PT one, at the bottom instead of having to put all that stuff in again to make for an electronic signature all I have to do is put parentheses or percent parentheses and then abbreviate and then whatever the abbreviation is so for me it's S and whenever I do that it does that whole electronic signature abbreviation without me having to retype it in which is also pretty cool so that's how you do these fax forms um, I think that's all for this video uh, you guys shoot me emails text voicemail whatever call me leave a message uh, preferably I guess an email or text or whatever but uh, let me know if you have any other questions or other pro if you're having problems with this or you're in intrigued and you want to do it and you're having problems getting it done it's, it's not hard and I can help you learn how to do it but it holy cow it speeds you up a ton so good luck with this you guys and uh, for those of you who were at the meeting the other day it was great meeting you guys and um, I'll see you on down the road take care